Between 1550 and 1830, some of the most beautiful music ever written in this country was composed for the organ, by people such as Byrd, Purcell, Handel and Stanley. My goal is to perform this music on original instruments, instruments whose sounds have not been changed or obscured by the passage of time. I'm at the church of St. Botoff Oldgate. This is the perfect place to start our film, as behind me is the oldest surviving complete church organ in the country. It dates from around 1700, which within the context of many things, is just not very old. This brings me to the main issue of the film. Despite the fact that we are surrounded by old things in England, most of our towns and cities have seen dramatic changes. Unlike mainland Europe, the vast majority of our historic organs have either been destroyed or changed beyond recognition. Therefore, my journey to perform English music on organs similar to those which the composers themselves would have known will become something of a quest. This quest will take us to some rather surprising places. Private chapels, country houses and even a trip to France and in the process, we'll get a rather interesting slant on our national history. The period from 1550 to 1830 contains some of the most dramatic episodes in our national history. Religious turmoil, civil war, imperial expansion and the Industrial Revolution. And among all that we know of our history, the history of our organs and organ music has been obscured, and so I like to think of my journey as a quest to find the elusive English organ. <laughs>